Today is March the 26th, 2015, and I'm going to make a short video on how to use uh, your four wire right there, your four wire function on your meter. Uh, a lot of the fancier meters, the HPs, this is a fluke, this is an old dog, but uh, really nice. Uh, have the four wire function for measuring resistance and it's just it's a way to go if you're measuring small resistors like say your 8 ohm resistors or for your uh, dummy loads or whatever it's so much more accurate well first of all you start by pressing the four wire and see it's going to come up well I've got actually something on it right now don't look at that yet <laughs> but what you do is you use you have to put a uh, you have to use two wires from here and two wires from here. So effectively what you're doing is you're running two black wires, since I'm calling black down here because these are black, over to one side of your resistor and then these two red wires right here you run them over to the other side of your resistor. So it'll make sense when I, when I plug things in. Let me show you. I'm going to use these types of plugs first. Okay, there's the negative down there, the one with the tab on it. We plug that into one side. So the, the red wire is going to be the center, and the, the shield is going to be this wire. And then we plug another one, same way, tap that at the bottom. That's the negative side. Now, see what we have? Now, I know these are small wires, but the way a Kelvin probe works is it delivers a voltage to your resistor, and then it hooks up this way. I just want to make this really practical. I don't want to get into any kind of theory. See, there's the two negative leads hooked together, the two positive leads hooked together, and this resistor measures, it's a one ohm resistor, measures 0.9882 ohms. And you know what? It's right. Okay, let's measure another one. This may not seem significant, but if you're trying to match resistors and you're really picky, like I am sometimes, you want this. Especially if you have a meter that, um, that has a four wire function. Sorry for the fumbling, but uh, what happens when there's, you only got uh, two hands. And uh, I'm gonna show you a, a much better way of doing this. And this resistor right here, See, it's 1.00. That's a one ohm resistor. 1.00 ohms. Can't fight that, can you? But that's how it works. You just put it in four wire, and then you uh, you you hook it up the way I'm talking about. This side, these two go to one side. These two go to the other side of your resistor. I wanted to show you this way because I, I think that that's that's the simplest to see. Now when you get just slightly fancier you use these things they call Kelvin clips. This wire is hooked to only this side right here and the bottom wire is only is hooked only to this side. So one of these clips right here, I don't know which one, goes to the two negative leads and this one right here goes to the two positive leads. That's the way it's wired. And then see there's my little test jig right here. I just plug this thing in and uh, things get a lot simpler. Let's unplug that. Let me plug this in. Again, all this damn fumbling. I just didn't want to pull my meter, this meter down. Okay, now that I've got this little fancier setup, I can hook it up to this resistor much easier like that and there's my .988 or whatever it was a while ago should be really darn close to the same and this one sh should still measure 1.00 something of another you know you, you gotta we, we've got to be reasonable that we may not get it down to absolute exactly the same thing every time because that's just that's the way life works See, there's a 1.00 ohm one again. And of course, if you clip them together, you should get as close to zero as possible. 
Well, I don't have I don't have good connections right now, and I, and I can't fumble with it anymore with one hand. But anyway, that's how you hook it up. So <clears throat> look at your meters, and if you have a four wire, if you have one that has a four wire function like that, it says right there, four ohms, four wire. You'll have four plugs over there. Oh yeah. Well, let's let's look at some high high value resistors too. These are one meg ohm, one tenth of one percent. See there, one point zero zero zero. Okay, let's put this in two wire. See what happens. Well, this is a good meter. It measures the same up there. I bet it won't measure the same. Am, am I doing something to make sense right here? Yeah, see, there you got the meter leads. And now it's not accurate. You're not really, you're not, you're only me you're measuring not only the resistor, but the resistance in the leads too. And that's not what you want. Hope this helps. As a last example, here's a, actually a YouTube video that I've got halted. The gentleman is speaking in German, and I cannot understand him, but I can see what he's trying to tell us, and I think he does a good job of drawing it. So I'll just use his, so I won't have to draw it myself. See, here is his two black leads. Two negative leads go to one probe. He even has the same kind of clips, Kelvin clips as they're called generally, as I do. And then the two uh, hot leads go out to this side. So that's the way your four-wire uh, ohm meter works.